is about 7-ish, judging by the light outside. And I've just woken up. I tend to wake up between 6.30 and 7.30 every day without an alarm. I don't even have my phone in here. It's somewhere in the living room. But I just have this natural alarm in my head. I never sleep past 8, even if I go to bed very late the night before, even if I go to parties, which I never do, even if I would have gone to parties, I would still wake up 7.30 max. I'm an early bird. And I did get up around five o'clock to let Tenny out because she needs her morning walk. It's a priority. I know this sounds amazing, waking up to the sound of birds, no buzzing alarm. But to be fair, after that, the dreaminess of my morning routine goes south very quickly. Because after I get up, I drink a glass of water, I give breakfast to Tanny, I empty the dishwasher, I make some tea, I turn on my PC and I start working. I'll work until 10 o'clock, make breakfast, brush teeth, and then continue with my day. Usually again, working and filming, unless we go somewhere. I do like to come out and check on the weather every morning. And today we have some blue skies, a little bit of clouds. This is my favorite type of weather. So we're off to a good start. She just came to say hi, but now she's biting me, saying that she wants to go. Okay, say hello and bye bye. Right, in the fashion of the popular celebrity morning routines, let's make some hot lemon water. This time of the day when the sun is just slowly coming down the hill is my favorite part of the day. There we have it, the sun is just rising. Those first rays of morning sun that hit your face, amazing. Okay, now lemon water. It is very interesting how when there's clouds above the sea, the sea looks very gray, but when there's blue sky above the sea, it is super, super blue. Now we're having a gray ocean, but when the clouds clear up, I'm gonna show you the difference. Okay, now lemon water. It keeps getting pushed away. I told you how plain, boring, nothing special my day-to-day -day morning routine is. But yesterday got me thinking, I am my own boss, I live in a paradise place, I could have a morning routine that billionaires would envy. Why don't I take advantage of that? So that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. Ooh, lemon with no seeds, love that. I'm gonna have the most dreamy, relaxing, perfect morning routine. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna evaluate how much of that perfect morning routine I can incorporate into my day-to-day -day life. I'm not gonna have this entire lemon in my hot lemon water, because I like my hot lemon water to be a little sour, not crazy sour. So I'm gonna pour the majority into this jug, which is kind of dirty, but we only use it for lemonade, so we're fine. This one I'm gonna fill up with hot water, and this one with usual water. We're gonna drink this throughout the day. Now let's boil some water. I have some mint growing outside. I may throw it in. It gives such a nice flavor. Come on, let's go pick up some mint. I definitely have some gardening to do on my herbal part of the garden, but there is some mint in here that I can pick up. Mm, wish you could smell it through the screen. I have some glass straws and I also have these bamboo straws that I never even opened. So maybe we should try one of those. Ooh, interesting, but we have to wash it first. Mm, it's yummy, but besides lemon, you also get a taste of a bamboo, which is questionable. So yesterday was Easter Sunday. Let me sit down because this camera is heavy. Okay, now we can talk. I brought blanket and everything. So yesterday was Easter Sunday and I celebrated it by eating tons of chocolate and other things that I know make me feel bad. Yet I still went for it. Why do I always do that? The Italian. My why, why, why do I always do that? Why? Forget that, that was cringe. The food is like, if you eat me, you'll get uncomfortably bloated, your tummy will hurt, and your skin will freak out. And I'm like, yes, please, double the portion. Why? Anyway, so as a result, I'm feeling a bit meh today, and one thing that helps me is pushing breakfast to a bit later. For the first two, three hours of the day, I'm just gonna drink move and cleanse. And also this seems kind of fitting for a billionaire morning routine. They do this every day. I know that some people claim that hot lemon water is super detoxifying and then there's others saying there's no research to prove it. Relax. I just prefer the taste of lemon water to the usual water and hot lemon water because I like a hot beverage in the morning. That's all. I'm not expecting miracles from this. But it tastes nice. Lemony, bambooey, it's good. I just googled a perfect morning routine and all the checklists had some yoga morning stretch included, so that's what we're gonna do.
Last year in the summer, I used to start every morning with this exact yoga routine and now I haven't done it for the past six months. I feel so stiff and out of shape, I need to bring it back into my life. I drink one to two cups of herbal tea every morning and today will be no exception. I've had some curcumin and ginger in my fridge for a while and if I don't use them soon, they will go bad and I hate wasting food. Especially organic and homegrown like this, we got them from our friends, so I'm gonna use them up today. The ginger is already a bit moldy. I don't care, still gonna eat it. Now watch me ruin all my clothes with this turmeric. It is so bright orange and it stains everything it touches. You just look at it and you're stained. Orange for life. If you get it on clothes, they definitely get stained for life. But fingers, for a few days for sure. See, now I'm gonna be embracing the orange fingers for a week. The curcumin danger is not over yet because if I spill this all over myself, I'm still effed. Tastes really good though. You know what is one of my best feelings in life? When you are a bit cold and you go outside and the sun warms you up. I just shake a bit because I get from this cold state to warm state. Especially in the spring, this spring sun rays when the air is still a bit crisp, it hits different. Talking about sunshine, I listened to this health podcast and Dr. Mark Hyman said, morning sunlight has a bigger effect on sleep than almost any other variable. The magic amount seems to be around 30 minutes of exposure within one hour of waking. This bright light exposure tells our brain 14 hours from now, it's time to sleep. So getting a bit of sun early in the morning helps with your circadian rhythm, with hormone production, it will help you sleep better, and it just feels great. You see the sea is now much more blue, but it's still a little bit hazy. It is not as blue as it can get. One thing that I have been doing almost every single morning recently is going down in my garden, picking up some veggies and making a fresh vegetable juice. So I got my basket, I got my boots and I'm just gonna switch up this fluffy rope for my fleece jacket because this thing is making me feel like it's time to go to bed. But no, the day is just starting. We have things to do. And that rope is just making me wanna cuddle on the couch. Not good. While we walk down to pick up the veggies, let me show you a few quick garden updates. Strawberries are blooming. We cut the rosemary and accidentally killed it. We also cut the lavender and she survived. Points for lavender. We've planted a macadamia tree. I repeat, macadamia nuts tree. It looks very nice here on top, but the leaves under look kinda sad. Consequently, I'm afraid that the excitement could be very short-lived. We've also planted three banana trees. My grandpa's lemon lost almost all the leaves during winter, which got me so worried. But now it's blooming like crazy, so we definitely survived. And I am super happy. The veggie garden is absolutely thriving. We have so much beetroot, so much parsley, so much celery, leeks, arugula, salads, carrots. I feel so blessed because I really wasn't expecting it. We planted things in in November and for the first two months, it was really struggling. But then February rolls around, we were getting a bit more sun and these garden beds just started buzzing. Abundance of everything, so much food for just two people. How cool is it that instead of going to the grocery store, I can just get my veggies here. Look at that celery, celery juice and Anyone? We got you covered. Check out that beetroot. It's perfect. For me, one of the best parts of having my own veggie garden is the fact that vegetables will never go bad in your fridge. Oh my gosh, these carrots are making me so happy. Look at that. Before we were buying vegetables from a farm and every two weeks we will get like a big basket. We got twins. Aww. And since we got so many vegetables all at once, it was making me super stressed because I was just thinking every day we have to use up all the vegetables. It was literally giving me anxiety because again, I hate wasting food. And now it's just super fun because I can come here, pick up whatever I want for the day. No leftover veggies filling up the fridge. There we go, a basket of pure health. This is so photogenic and pretty. Obsessed. And not to mention how much money you save like that. A super quick veggie haul or our juice will consist of a bit of parsley, lots of celery, rainbow carrots, we have orange, yellow, white, purple and even a twig. Plus some beetroot, I'm gonna use the roots and the leaves because we don't throw away anything. Whoa, you guys, look at the colors of this beetroot, so pretty. 
the other day I was at the supermarket and I saw that they were selling charred leaves, maybe 10 leaves like that in a little plastic package. And the price was two euros for 10 leaves like this. I was like, girl, food is becoming so expensive. You saw that today I just picked up two beads and I got that many leaves. Plus I got two beads. There were none included there. But yeah, one more reason to start growing your own veggies. If you have space, of course. Veggies are prepped, juicer is ready. I think I'm gonna start with beetroot because I just wanna see what color of juice will this produce. I'm thinking light pink. Just gonna throw it in, turn on the juicer. We are getting light pink, just as expected. Moving on to carrots. Okay, carrots and beets are in the juice and this is the type of juice that I love the most taste-wise. Because as soon as we start adding leafy greens, the juice will go south taste-wise, but it will go up health-wise. So for the health, we gotta do it. The juice is done, but before I can drink it, I'm gonna wash the juicer. Okay, let's do a taste test. A straw, give it a little stir. Oh no, this color! It's not even as horrible. Carrots are definitely saving it. They're adding a little bit of sweetness, but it's still bitter from the greens. I think just seeing this poopy color makes my face go... It's not disgusting. But is it super enjoyable? No. Although knowing how healthy it is definitely helps. It has gotten super windy. I hope you guys can hear me. Lately, I haven't been painting my nails a lot, actually almost at all. So I thought it could be a nice self-care moment if I paint my nails while drinking this juice. It was so sunny before and now it's super windy and cloudy and it's stressing me out. Keep calm and drink your juice. I chose this super natural color. I'm just gonna give it one coat, just a little something something. It's the aftertaste, it's so bitter. While painting the nails, I usually like to listen to some podcast or I also do that when I'm cleaning or cooking. But one thing that I almost never do is listen to music. Unpopular opinion, I know. If everyone was like me, the music industry would not have survived. It would go bankrupt. Anyone else gets a headache when wearing the ponytail for too long? Cause say, which kind of sucks because I do like a ponytail as a hairstyle. It keeps the hair out of the face. It looks quite nice. It's low effort, but my entire scalp starts hurting. Do you guys have any tips? Now I'm just gonna finish the juice and then we're off to somewhere really, really special. Time to get dressed. Let's go on adventure! It is very rare for me to take a morning completely off and go for a hike or workout because I am the most productive in the morning. So I always start the day prioritizing work. For some reason, if it's like 12 o'clock and I still haven't started editing or filming, I get this feeling like the day is lost, which is such a nonsense. 12 is still super early. I think it's because my family has always worked nine to five jobs. And in the morning, it was always like, get up, eat breakfast, get ready, go to work. I have this pattern engraved in my DNA I need to break it <gasps> look guys this is where we're going uh oh this looks a little bit scary I think I'm gonna have to use that rope oh my god oh my god oh my god the things I do for you guys Tarzan who guys we're here and it is so pretty and noisy so i'm sorry about the audio okay the air is already a bit cold and the water is even colder but cold plunges are very popular right now and i'm pretty sure that billionaires do them on a daily so i'm going in
I found this pond that is warm but it also looks kind of sketchy it looks very orange so this can go both ways it can be very healing and good for you or there can be some weird bacteria and I'm gonna have problems but I must say after that cold water under the waterfall this feels very nice so I'm gonna trust my instinct and believe that this is good for me it's good for my soul at least That was absolutely incredible guys. I need to do cold plunges more often, but it is almost 11 o'clock and I'm super hungry. So it's time to get home and make some breakfast. My shoes definitely need a wash, but that's how you know that the hike was successful. Okay, what do we wear today? You see, I really want to start wearing dresses from this section, but I'm still kind of drawn to this section because it is still quite cold. And in the winter, I just want to be comfy. I don't really care how I look like. And when the weather gets warmer, I'm gonna start dressing better. But it is still spring and spring can be tricky. Although I could wear something like this. Here I have some knits. Yeah, this is warm and cozy and a bit spring looking, but it's not a sweatshirt. So maybe this or this one. Hmm. I do like this green fuzzy sweater. Now the bottoms. I wanna go for sweatpants. I feel like color wise it goes together well, but material wise, not so much. These overalls, that could be cute. Yeah, let's do that. Three, two, one. Um, I don't know if I like it. Not sure if I like these two colors together. You know what, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go for sweatpants. To compensate for the sweatpants, I'm also gonna put on some jewelry, but I don't know if this is improving the outfit or is it making it just more confusing. Honestly, who cares? Cause I'm staying at home, so I'm fine. It's 12 o'clock. I feel like I've done so much today already. Whoa, I'm tired. Why does it feel like it's bedtime and I haven't even had my breakfast? That's just not right. So what have I learned today? First thing, buy a new foundation because this thing is gone. What I've learned from this experience is that I don't need to jam pack everything I did today into one morning routine. I could just take bits of it and do a little something each day. For example, one day I go pick up those veggies, make that juice and drink it in the sun. For breakfast, I picked up some arugula. Mm, this arugula smells so good. Another day I could do the morning yoga stretch, the next day go on a hike. Once in a while I could make a delicious breakfast slash brunch and slowly eat it on the terrace. Here we have lettuce, arugula, beetroot from the garden and avocado from the supermarket. Plus I have two soft boiled eggs from a local farm. I wish I also had some fresh goat cheese, it would go so well together, but I get it today in the afternoon. Mmm, yummy. What a delicious way to end this morning routine. Bye, guys. <laughs>